everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a used 16 by 20 canvas. Uh, I just wasn't happy with the painting that was on this. So what I did is I put uh, a layer of uh, black artist loft paint and let it dry. And I fixed up a few of the areas here today. And I have a lot of used paints that I want to just get rid of and use up. So it's going to be a bright painting, and um, I'm not going to go over all my paints. I will put them in the description. So let's just get started. And what I've done is um, I have these little cups, and I've um, added a lot of different color paints in here. And I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, ribbon pour on this first. And then after that, I'll do a little bit of a, do some puddle pours on here. So just going to go with the flow here today and see what we come up with. Just something a little different. I know probably a lot of you other artists out there have paint that you just got a little dab here a little dab there and you just have to use it up so i went through my paints here this morning and um picked out what i thought i wanted to use up and so that's what i'm doing here today okay those are done so i'm just like i said i'm just going to do some some puddles and then tip. So lots of different colors here. So metallics, I think this is the Artist Loft Metallic Blue. And if I have negative space, that's okay. That's why I put that black base coat down. Puddle pours are a way that you can put paints together that normally you wouldn't be able to because you'd be afraid you'd get mud with them. But with the puddle pour, you're not really combining the paints to the degree that you do when you're doing like a, um, a dirty cup where it all goes into one cup. And I'm not sure I'll get cells here today. I don't think any of these paints have silicone because I very rarely use silicone anymore. But I do use Floetrol in most of my paints. So we may get some cells. Very pretty light yellow here. And I believe this is the Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green that I'm adding right now. And this is the Artist Loft 
cobalt blue, the metallic cobalt blue. Once in a while, it is nice to do a painting that just really doesn't have that much structure to it. And not that much planning ahead. And this color, I'm really not sure. exactly it is. It, it is a metallic. Tell from the shine. Might be a metallic red. But again, I'm just guessing there. a great way to use up paints. Just got back from vacation not too long ago and it, it really it takes a while to get back in the swing. I do teach classes once in a while in the community where I live and the puddle pour is one of the ones that I do introduce everyone to because I think it's just a simple, it's a simpler pour. And you don't have to guide the paint so much as in other pours. I don't think anyway. If this is a um, a deep blue that I had made up, I got some new Artist Loft metallic black, and I added it to some. Um, let's see. I have it down here. Liquitex Basic Turquoise Blue. That's what I did. A 50-50 combination of that. And it gave me this, this deep blue color. Okay, and I have a medium blue here. And this is a bluish gray, I believe, or grayish blue. 
grayish blue. And some some copper. I love copper, even more than silver and gold, I like copper. And I'll have a little bit of this yellow left. little bit of orange And I have some blue left here, the metallic blue. Such a pretty color, very deep color here. little bit of this grayish color left here. And we'd be ready to tip. Okay. Now I do have some black that I may just around here, around the edges. Just help that paint move a little bit. Quite a bit there. Didn't mean to blob it so much there. Okay. 
Now, before I get started, I am going to take a little tool that I bought and just run it through a few of these circles. Just to give it a little little more pizzazz to the painting here. I am cleaning it off in between too. Okay, now let's do some tipping. Let's see what we come up with here. Now I'm going to turn it this way. And tip. And hopefully you can see some of this going on. Just running it down to this corner here. And I'm going to tip it back. And run it down to the other corner. bring it back a little bit oops put it down here to look at it a minute I'm going to turn it this way take a look at it Going to tip it this way again. And bring it back. I think the more mixing that that these do it it looks better much more abstract okay I'm going to take a look again I 
I'm going to torch. And I'm going to just take my tool again and run it through in a few areas that look just a little bit plain to me. Okay, just a little bit here yet. And I'm going to give it another torch because I still do see some, some air bubbles here that need to be popped. happy with this area just give it a little extra here okay I'll clean off the bottom and then I'm going to take you down for a close-up Remember, this is a 16 by 20 gallery wrap canvas that I just did some ribbon pours and some puddle pours. Used a few tools to enhance it a little bit. And I'll get you down now and you can tell me what you think. I'll tell you the parts that I really like. Here is the upper left hand corner. Got some metallic, I think that's that metallic red coming through there. I like the lines in there. Very bright in there with that orange, very pretty. Again, orange and yellow, very pretty. Lower left hand corner there. This is interesting here with that copper. I'm going to take up the middle here. Very busy painting, but it is crisp. I don't have any uh, mud or anything in here. This is interesting in here. This is one of the ribbons that I did. It stayed pretty intact. I'm happy with that. Very, very colorful area right here too. I like that black in there. And up over here is the upper right hand corner. That's really pretty in there with that red and orange, a red and copper in there. Blue. Very pretty. A lot going on in this painting.
and we have the lower right hand corner here. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell so you know the next time I do post a new video. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye.